uh, this little Homer one from you, you hear Jake, but I love Had it. To. Had to. So does Green Bay add to their receiving room? And look, it's a Homer one, but it's a big time, big time question that a lot of people have already been because it's such a deep wide receiver class. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. they go, well, Green Bay is young. Green Bay has always needed receivers. And we flash back to the Aaron Rodgers days, and they never gave him enough receivers. They're going to make up for it in this draft. And you and I are smart enough to know that even if we didn't have the amazing pool of talent that showed out last year, there's no way that they're going to go for like <laughs> a an early round pick in wide receivers. No. And like you said, the Packers way is not to sign these massive dollar free agent mm -hmm. deals with wide receivers or any position for that matter. So they're not going to do that. So do they add to the receiving room? Maybe. But I think it's going to be like a day three pick or two. Probably. In the draft. Yeah. Right. And I agree. Or it'll be. Yeah. Or it'll be some, un, you know, uh, undrafted free agent, which they love to grab those guys and. Um, yeah. but yeah, I agree. Uh, I, the earliest I can see them taking a wide receiver is maybe like the fourth round, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I just, that'd be fine. Yeah. But I mean, I think they're probably happy with what they saw this last year. I know I am, uh, from a fan okay. perspective. Um, I'm happy with what we saw last year. Uh, Christian Watson, if he can fix his hamstrings, I think will be solid. He's going to be that deep threat. You know, uh, Dobbs took a step forward, which I loved. Uh, Jaden Best Reed hands. looked amazing. Uh, he really, you know, came on out of, I shouldn't say out of nowhere, but I mean, he definitely impressed. Uh, Dontavian Wicks, you know, young uh, guy that that showed out at times. Uh, yeah, what, Bo Melton that, uh, yeah. that showed out. I mean, we got, I mean, these aren't like big flashy names, and maybe not the most super fantasy relevant guys. Right. But I think the Packers as a team are probably going to be confident. Okay. We've got this young core of wide receivers. We saw what they did last year, how they kind of started to gel with Jordan love as the season went on in his first year as a starting quarterback. Let's ride this out at least another year and see what happens. Let it develop. I think the worst thing in the world is to bring in some, splashy veteran or even not a splashy veteran but just let's bring in some veteran to like shore up this thing and completely disrupt the flow of that mm -hmm. room like there's a bunch of young guys just learning together and nobody being a diva and you bring in this outside thing i don't typically talk about like the locker room vibes of stuff but like this is such an important one where mm -hmm. you don't want to fuck that up and like you said even the furthest guys down the roster like malik heath Bo Melton looked solid for this team. The only expendable guy, in my opinion, is Samari Torre. I'm fine if he goes. Everybody yeah. else, I mm -hmm. want to keep, you know? Yeah. And for fantasy, the, the point that you brought up is super relevant because if somebody out there expects them to bring in another receiver, then everybody's value is down mm -hmm. and suppressed, and you should go trade for them. But we also have to acknowledge we don't know who the standout still will be within the current <laughs> right. So maybe it's Jaden Reed. But like you said, if Christian Watson does manage to get healthy, and I've said it a million times, but they're bringing in specialists to like make sure that he gets gets healthy. So they're trying at least. I think yeah. Christian Watson is my trade candidate in Dynasty right now because he was so disappointing last year and he's injury prone and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. go float out a, a second round pick for Christian Watson. I think you can get him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. 